go crazy. He lets her roll. Thumbs up to Charlie Curtin. That was a good win. Yeah, it was. Fought hard for it. Okay, we've got the uh, street stock feature. The lineup is in. We've got a couple laps or a lap or so to go. The first car on the pole is the new car, Brad Marshall, number 80. This doesn't sound right here. Oh, that's right. Okay, and number 13, B.J. Wilson, is on the outside. Second row, we have Bill Juro. On the outside of Bill is Trent Seidel, number 10, uh, number 70 in the propane car. And uh, number 31, either Mike Moore or more than likely Cliff Redekop, driving 31 with the Kevin Eby, number 3, on the outside of the row 3. Next row is Dave Bone on the inside, uh, number 38, uh, Terry Brossard, number 74 on the outside. Inside of that is Stan Fist and 44, outside is 27, Dave Scheifel. Um, then we have Joe Lehmans in car number 11, car number 89, Joe Ginter. And following that, number 90, Fred Ginter, outside of him, Chris Shirley, 64. Then we have Wes Caton, number 15, and Brian Johnson, number 86. And Mark Wilkes following the inside lane, number 25. On the outside is number 91, Pete Ginther, one of the other three, one of the three Ginther boys. And they're all okay. bunched up. We've and got the green ready. For the green, and they're off. And BJ takes a whole shot. This is the final feature race of the 1990 Street Stock race at Grid City Speedway. Look at the three wide action. Three and wide. Four, three and four. Number 10 is the winner. DJ Wilson's taking quite a lead with Trent Seidel on pursuit. Kevin Eby third. Terry Brozart fourth. Actually, the one we've got to watch is uh, Schaefer, number 27. He is 28 points behind B.J. Wilson for the uh, points championship going into this race. They go thundering by us here. We've got a close bunch of cars at the back. Very tightly packed. We've got Schaefer making a great, uh, great getaway. He's running up around sixth place, I believe. That was the sixth position. B.J. still leading the race. Through, go into turn number one. Got uh, Brozart touching dirt on the straightaway, going into turn number three, right directly behind Kevin Eby here. As a shape. Oh, bad spin in the back. Mark Wilk was hit by number 86 again. He's got a great collective. No caution. No caution coming out for that crash. That spin. There, everyone's back in the park. BJ is going to come around and lap Mark Wilkes right away here. There's BJ coming out of number two. And in a couple of minutes, he's going to run into some lap traffic. He's going to go by Mark Wilkes, who had trouble a few minutes ago on the straightaway. BJ makes the pass. Coming out of four. Coming out of four. He's under power. And he makes the pass easily on the straightaway. Now we've got uh, Schaefer is taking over Evie. Schaefer has just passed two cars. The Captain Evie car and the number 10 Bill Gear car. Schaefer wants to finish on top of this race. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, B.J. Wilson is still holding the lead. Following second is uh, number 70, Trent Seidel, just going past Mark Wilkes, number 25. Lap traffic just a little behind B.J. there. We've got Seidel coming up in the view. Uh, Terry Boza right behind Seidel. And Johnson, number 86, the flat player. And is out of control in turn number four. Graciously taking the dirt and getting out of everyone's way. B.J. Wilson holding the lead. Schaefel, uh, just as they went across the line, just passing Mark Wilkes, uh, lap car. Got a spin a little early in the race here. Uh, here we got a shot of Seidel and Brozart. Oh, sorry, uh, Trent. DJ just to happen. Brozart is now in the second place. Schaefer is in fourth. He's trying to pass number 70, Trent Seidel. 
Ben Sila holding third place strongly here. Rosart, he's got BJ in his sights. Rosart is smoking the tires coming off the turn, trying to get traction. Shapel touching dirt. Just looking for a way around the Trent Seidel number 70 there. Here's Rosar coming through the turn along the sideways. Seidel holding back. Shapel. Shapel is looking for a way around the Trent Seidel number 70. They go into number one. Coming out of turn number two. Shapel is looking for a way around the Seidel car. Shapel catches BJ. This is where the action's going to be. And Seidel is holding up the traffic. BJ is going to get slowed down too. He's going to get off traffic. Yeah, we're going to get a ton of lock traffic that's going to hold number 13, BJ Wilson. Up the, the car that's the threat. BJ Wilson right now is fighting it out with Ben Seidel for third place. Seidel holding Shapel back. Shapel touching dirt coming out of the turn. There's Grosart. Shapel trying the outside of Seidel in a hard maneuver. He's Shapel getting by Seidel on the Seidel on the straightaway. Now he's got two cars ahead of him. He's got to concern himself with now. BJ's getting BJ uh, 13 is getting slow down, slower traffic. Number 74 is coming up on him. Wilson's getting lapped again by Dave Bowman. Go here at number 10, I believe. There's Seidel, who's trailing in fourth. Shapel car has gone ahead of him. There's DJ Wilson making his way to a huge pack of cars. Huge pack of cars. 74, right on his bumper. Rosart, right on his bumper. These Rosart, BJ, Four and Shapel all three wide. Oh. Hearts flying. Yes, Kaken Kaken goes through and number 90 gets their spin to fill the straight away. We're going to have a caution. Oh, sure, there'll be a caution out. Here it goes. Gets, their, gets out of the way. That's the flag Shapel was looking for. Yeah, that's the flag. Oh, that bunches them up. That's the color. Now Shapel is going to be glued to Brozart. Brozart glued to BJ. Number 90 got a flag player. It's going to take a couple of minutes here while the uh, lap counters straighten out the field. And get the whatever. bumper off the track. We've got a bumper on the track. That belongs to number 15. Wes Skagen. Uh -huh. Okay, we've got a replay coming up right here. There's, there's the bumper. There's the bumper. And uh, number 90. Number 90 gets clipped and sent around. And we have to remember uh, four weeks ago, BJ, 13, the lead car, 74, Brozart, the second car, and the car in third place right now, 27, Schaefel, all spun together on the last lap of the feature, cutting all three of them, cutting down tires, ending up finishing last. <laughs> That's frustrating. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a chain reaction. You don't see three going off at once in that manner. Especially that not often. three of the top runners. This is it, Arch. Here's the Here's green, the flag. green flag. flag. The green flag is down, and BJ pulls the lead. Rosa strong on his Whoa. ass, sliding sideways, trying to catch up. Well, and there goes... BJ pulls a bit of a hole shot. Shapers. Yeah, he got past the 80 car strong. quite quickly. Well, they're bunching up in the back. And here comes Dave Bowen. Well, the point seven car, he's sure smoking his tires. 18.65 seconds. BJ's running 18.65 seconds on that lap there. Still have number 13 in the lead, 74 in second. Number 27 in third place. That gives BJ an average speed of 104.87 kilometers an hour. 15 for the turns and add 15 on the straightaways and the you don't think that's fast. You get in a car and you'll see how fast it is. Definitely. Yep. Those corners come up very fast. On 120, 125 on the straightaways, things happen pretty quick, quickly with two other people knocking on your back door. Okay. Shape on Rosa. Just about touch and go off with victory lane. Mm -hmm. Smoke pouring off the 74 Rosa car in second place. Got tires on the tires. We've yes. got a leak here. Now he's just driving her hard, those tires. He's making a bit to go past BJ on the outside. Shapel blew directly to the Rosart tail end. BJ still mm -hmm. holding him off. 
here at this time, but they certainly <laughs> were fighting hard for the positions they're in. Number 80's bumper, front bumper's hanging way out in the front. Yeah, he must have got a little clip there. Uh, he hooked him. Making his way through traffic as he, Dave Bowen, uh, in a relaxed state, number 38, sitting in uh, fifth place on the track at this moment. I wonder if, what's going through BJ's mind, uh, number 13, right about now. Oh boy, I'd say he'd be looking pretty hard at that black Trans Am in his mirror. I think what I would be doing is turning my mirror so I couldn't see <laughs> what's behind me. But it's that little bunt, bunt, bunt that reminds you someone's there. <laughs> I always maintain that they should not allow stock car racers to have rear view mirrors. You know, that's that's my opinion too, to tell you the truth, Arch. Taking the mirrors out gives everyone a little more room to race. I raced uh, the first three, four years I raced out here without a rear view mirror. Put a rear view mirror in and it just rattled me. <laughs> Scared the heck out of me. <laughs> what size of mirror did you put in? <laughs> it wasn't that big. <laughs> just a little one was bad enough. That was bad enough. <laughs> well, we've had some fun there, which I ran a couple years there. 
I remember the first meet or two I was out here. I remember um, not being definitely not being a fast car, and you came up on me in traffic, and you were you went on to win the feature that night. He went to get by me. There was a blue flag. I didn't know what was that was about that at that time. Must have been the only one Remember? I ever won. <laughs> Remember they had a blue flag out there? I wasn't sure what that was about. I couldn't tell. It was at night. You just you knew came, you were racing. Yeah, I knew I was racing. You got by me eventually, and you came <laughs> chugging down there to say, no, I'll let you know what this blue flag is all about. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> we had a little excitement ourselves. Yeah, that was fun. fun. That was fun. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Well, it looks like we're gonna have the green flag coming out this time around. Nick Elliott's turning off the orange white for the bronze. He's holding the green up. BJ is under power. The whole crew is picking up the pace behind him. Those are going wide. BJ going into turn number one, coming out of two with Shayfield Rose. I salute to him. Here we go, BJ heading on the straightaway. Shape will move to the back of his car. This is very intense. The fourth star is getting up there beside number 74, up Rose beside 97. He's getting inside. Smoke is starting to pour off Rosart's tires one more time. I think Shape is going to have to catch BJ and get him up on. You just can't gain no ground on them. We've got Dave Bowen fighting for fifth place. And number 13 in first, 27 in second, 74 in third, 70 in fourth, 38 in fifth, number three in sixth. Looks like it must be in seventh. Yeah. Look at coming the off Dave Bones car. Dave Bones car is number 38 Look in at fifth Brooks. place. Number 74 is good by 27. Look at this. One more lap to go. One more lap to go. Shape Lombrosard are neck and neck going into turn number one and two. Smoke pouring off the Brosart car. He's definitely under par. Shapeful smoking the tires as well. Number 13 better hope he don't have a flat. That's for sure because this is when the big guys get him. Look at this, BJ Holder for the win, Brozart, Shapel, neck and neck, and it looks so close, it could be a dead time. Good grief. Seidel, Bone, Eby, Lehmans, Gunther in 89. Cliff Redekop. Redekop, some more Gunthers, uh, Wes Gaken pushing Gunther across the line, he must have felt the, maybe missed the flag. Good race. That's a big sigh of relief for number 13, B.J. Wilson. Big sigh of relief. He should that's have the championship, the championship. Yeah. Should be it. He's worked hard for that for many years, B.J. Yeah, that's for sure. His closest has been a fifth. Fifth, yeah. In the past. Well, I can remember beating him out uh, in fourth, and he was in fifth. Is that right? <laughs> oh, B.J. is a little excited. Whoa. <laughs> he don't worry about the dents in the roof no, now. He's not going to worry about him now. This boy is happy. He came in first in this race. It's unofficially, of course, must have sewed up the championship. DJ with his dad, very happy people. Yeah, yeah, his dad is his very hard worker. Right hand her. man and supports him all yeah. the way through her. Gets all the sponsors. Oh, and he's getting a trophy from a pretty girl. <laughs> There's one happy oh, camper. Yeah, what a sigh of relief. Very good race. Okay, we're on our second try here. Uh, had a little spin in the powder puff. Uh, track truck just getting it cleaned up. and These are all women drivers. Just a lot of them first time drivers. Just waiting for the track truck to get the track cleared off and we'll be back into racing. Yeah, we got a, we replay. Got a replay of that spin. Replay there coming up. There we are. So, got oh, front and been head on. 67. Head on. Who got her head on? 67 got hit. One of the Ginther cars is... Oh, sure. ...is joined the field here in the uh, yeah. number 89 mm -hmm. Joe Ginther car. Uh, Mrs. Ginther? Or? 
Uh, that gives her a chance to get out there and yeah. see what it's all about. Yeah, I see she's at the back. Uh, she should be no able to problem. move up through. She'll move up fast. She, yeah, she should with the car. Yeah, she should move up very quickly here, I think. Oh, look at this. Look, whoa. Oh, there's goodbye. Too high and too far. 1360. 1360, yeah. Oh, welcome, and back welcome the other to way. Stock Car Racing. Yeah, hey, <laughs> that's what it's all about, going around. Yeah, number 55 is leading quite. With great pleasure, she is cruising through and. Followed up by number 10, number 44. Number 764. And uh, the Ginter car is... Street Stock from the 89. She's definitely running the R's on it. Yeah, she uh, let, knows where the foot feed is. Yeah, she let off the gas going into the turn that time. <laughs> this is number 55 is quite a considerable lead on number 10. And number 10 has got uh, half a track lead on number 44. And get the car is... Oh, we'll the lap traffic now. Yeah, she's weaseling her way she's to traffic She's getting the hang now. of it, getting yeah. the feel of it. The car is sounding but like she it's does alive. have a long way to go to catch number 55. Yeah, that's certainly true. She's got to be careful going by some of, this, uh, some of these other cars, because the street yeah. stock is not what you want to get hit with that's by another right. car. Well, she's, she's got it under control now. Oh, oh that no. corner and her don't get along. No. No. Just another 360. Oh, oh there she goes again. She's a little upset. She I is. think maybe she's not accustomed to the power. Yeah, definitely a difference between a thunder and a street yes. versus the power. What no. you can do with it. Oh, here comes number 67 back out on the track. Add a little water to that one. Shake and bake. Yeah, Add a little right. water. And the flag is out. It was out. 55, second place, number 10. 10. 67, down well, the lot for sure. At the back of the pack. Yeah, at the back of the pack. But finished. Yeah. We've got a big okay, replay right. here of uh, the Ginther car. Mrs. This, Ginther, we she presume. She does have a down to the science on how to spin a car. Yeah, she's got the tires lit up. They're smoking. And, and there she does it again the other way. We get close to another car there. Yeah. Very close. I'd be a little excited myself. by own. <laughs> stirs up a little dirt yeah. and uh, yeah. can't see. And I think we're ready to have a we think, ton of people storm the infield. That's right. To meet their favorite drivers and uh, get in there to see exactly what kind of bruises some of their favorites took in today's action. Very, very good crowd. Uh, beautiful day of Stock Car Racing at Speedway and brought to you on Telecable 10. Telecable 10 in Saskatoon. Thanks very much for joining us and good night.